Hi guys, it's Kate here and I've got my little sidekick Luke. Say hi. <laughs> and he's just got up from a nap. I thought I'd be able to get this done while he was napping, but of course that wasn't the way. So I've got a quick video for you today to show you one of the fun things that you can do with essential oils that has nothing to do with essential oils. It's actually about labeling them. Okay, so creating a label for your roller bottles and things that you make up. It might even be a spray bottle or something. And I want to show you an easy way to be able to do that for free so that you can um, label your own at home. It's a great thing to be able to do for gifts, Mother's Day's coming up, baby showers, birthdays, you know, making a roll bottle is such a nice um, thing to do for somebody because it's just a real personal touch and we know how amazing they work and so it's great to be a great way to be able to share that with some other people. So I'm going to share my screen with you and I'm going to take you to this free online website that I use and it is called Canva. So all you're doing is typing in www.canva.com and it'll take you to a place that looks like this. You probably won't have all of this stuff down the bottom because you can probably see that I use it quite extensively. <laughs> all right. What you will want to know is that up the top here we have templates. Okay. And these templates come with a huge array, array of um, De designs that you can use for free as well. So it gives you heaps of inspiration uh, to use as is or as a starting point. Do we need to get a bit more apple in there? I mean, a bit more banana? I'll pull it down for you. All right, so I just clicked on more so you can see that it sort of has categories. There you go, buddy. Um, it has recommenders. So these are the ones the most regularly used and we're going to do a business card size for our one today. Um, social media posts, document, things that you would actually print off. Oh, um, marketing materials, uh, things like events and invitations that you can make. So huge way, lots of ways you can use them personally or for this kind of stuff or for any online things you're doing. You need to have a look in here and have a bit of fun. So we're going to choose the business card template. In this template, you will see that over here, there are millions and millions, well, not that many, um, lots and lots of designs that have been made. And if you click on one of them, if it has this little you know, um, flap, it means that it has a front and a back and you can choose to use one or the other or both. All right, so some of these are ones that you have to pay for, but most of them, if you can see the little free sign on there, it is free to use. So I'm gonna show you one way of making a label that uses a template and one that starts from scratch using this program. So let's see, which one do we like, Wigster? Uh, where is one? Keep going down, oh, this one. Do we like this one? Yeah, okay, let's use this one. All right, so. Now, I like the background of this in particular, but obviously I'm going to want to change the name. And I don't really like using round on labels just because um, we've got something that's long and skinny. And I like to put my labels on so that the words are, you can't really see that one very well, so that the words go lengthwise instead of going across like that. So um, I like using rectangles and things rather than circles. If you're using a, if you're making it for a spray, um, a, uh, a spray, bottle, then a circle is fantastic. All right. So I'm going to get rid of that first and foremost, and I'm going to go to this tab here, which is called elements. You can see, so when it comes to grids, if you wanted to add photos in there, you could do that where it's just a um, drag and drop. You can frames is going to be quite similar. If you wanted to put a photo in here, you could just choose, um, a circle, here we go. You could just choose the shape that you want and the, that'll already, automatically crop it to be that size. Okay, so I don't really want frames right now though. I wanna to go to shapes and I'm going to use uh, this, gotta have rounded edges. Square edges is just a little bit too mean, don't you think? Do you think so? <laughs> he goes, I better agree with you, mom. Okay, and with, this um, business card template, it's eight and a half centimeters wide and we've only got about five centimeters to play with, but I worry about that in uh, when I get to the printing stage. So at this stage, what I wanna do is make it fit the business card as well as possible. And then when I print it, I scale it to about 59 or 60% and it prints out the right size for my roller bottle. Oh, about to sneeze. Okay, so here it's in green, you're waving. Say hi everyone. 
<laughs> and you can pick the colors. I'm going to keep it white. All right, about that big. And it's taken over the top of my text. So I want to arrange it and send it back behind it. All right. If I keep going back, it's going to put it that. So that's no good. We want it back a couple of layers, but not all of them. Okay, now I don't want Catherine Schmidt. I want to write calm baby. Are you a calm baby, Luke? No? <laughs> I don't disagree. <laughs> Although when you're home on your own, you don't have much choice, do you? Okay, so again, I want this to take up most of this space. You want me to take that for you? Good work. Okay, most of this space, I'm just gonna write, uh, line it to the left. And I'm going to choose the font that I want. Ugh. Okay, thank you, banana peel. There you go. I'm going to choose the font that I want. So quite often there are so many to choose from that it can be hard to choose. All right, but you can get a little bit of an idea. Um, I actually quite like putting on the ground, boy. This one here called Cabin Sketch. I'm going to make the size a bit bigger. Ooh, there we go. And you can see if I'm inside the little box, um, it's going to be on text or writing mode. And if I'm outside it, I get that little toggle thing. And that means if I hold um, my mouse and drag it, I can move it around in that space. All right, so that's what I wanna do. Now in there, I actually wanna change the color because I'm making this for a little boy. So I'm gonna make Calm Baby in blue. You see, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> okay, the next bit, sometimes you have to keep clicking outside just to be able to get the new, um, to choose a new box. Now in this, I don't usually write the ingredients of what I'm using. I like to write the instructions for how to use it. So for most things to do with babies, I'm going to be saying rolling on the bottom of the feet and down the spine. Okay, so that's what I want to write on here. Roll, oops, roll on bottom of feet and down spine. Where are you going? I'm going to make that. <laughs> Look at you, you got banana on your face. Yummy. Uh, make that right aligned, put it the right size. I'm going to make it in, fit inside this Y. Um, no, we're, not, we're sitting on an exercise ball just in case you're wondering why we're bouncing. Okay, and this is six. Let's see, will eight fit? Oh, man, eight doesn't fit. So I might make it 7.5. Will that fit? Oh, there we go. Perfect. All right, so there we go. We've got our label that we want to use. Now, you, if you wanted to make a series of the similar designs, what you can do is click this button here and it will just copy it. Then instead of calm baby, you might write, like to write cool baby, all right, or something like that. And you can keep going uh, with a whole different series. We can make it a different color, couldn't we? What color should we make this one? Purple? Ooh, all right. So you can keep going with the series like that. If you wanted to make a new one, you can either go back to the start and start again, or you can just add a new page and start from scratch. Now this one, I'm going to make a roller bottle perfume blend for Mother's Day. So I'm going to call it Essence of Mom. Now I want to add some text and I'm going to say Essence of and then a new line, oops, excuse me. And it's going to say, mm, uh, mm. essence of mum. Most of the time, essence of mum is mushed banana and hands that might smell like changing nappies. <laughs> but what we want to do is think of our um, aromatically and emotionally the oils that are going to support mums. Woo! So they're going to support moms. <laughs> All right. Now for this, we want to, again, we want to make sure we're taking up as much of the, um, oh wait, as much of the um, box, what do you call it? The size of the business card as possible. And spacing is something that I want to use because I am a bit ridiculous in that I like to have my different size fonts 
I just want to go to right, a left align. I keep saying right align. Um, I like having them line up like this. So um, I want to change my font here. And one that I like is Pacifico. I think I like Pacifico. Should we try it? Where is it? There it is. Pacifico. I want to change the size. Might make it a bit bigger. Okay, we'll click just outside. There we go. To be able to move it around. Essence of mom. Actually, I might move it all up a little bit. Where is my... Let's get that out of the way for a second. Sometimes it is a little bit annoying that it's hard to choose the layer that you want. So sometimes I have to move. There it is. I have to move it out of the way. Okay, let's try that again. Essence of mum. And again, we want to put some instructions. So this time I want to use just a lot smaller text. Um, go to left align so it's easier for me to get them all in line. And we, for a perfume, you're really wanting to put it on pulse points, aren't you? So roll on pulse points. Or you could say on wrists, um, neck, and heart. Um, okay, this is all just a little bit too big. Um, there we go, that's perfect. Now, again, I want to, can I select, let's try this. Look at that. I've just got it, I've been able to select all and I want to move it over because if I was making this for my mom, she loves hibiscus flowers. And so I'm going to try to add a hibiscus flower in. Now, I actually made a video of this just a second ago, um, but Luke woke up in the middle of it. So I deleted that and started again. So you'll see that I already have one that I prepared earlier, but I'll show you exactly how I got it. No, buddy, you don't have one of these. He's obsessed with these throat drops and they're super spicy for little kids, but he loves them. But you're not having one now. Okay, so if I want to add an image in, you can either go to um, just this search bar and type in what you're looking for, hibiscus, and you'll see some things come up. Some of them are free, some of them are pro if you have a paid monthly account, and some of them you can pay $1 US per image. Oh, can you see what he's doing there? Little brat climbing up the kitchen. I'm sure that'll end in tears. All right, so you can choose one of these or you can go and upload your own image. So here's some that I have been uploading, lots of them. This is the image we want to get, but I'll just show you how I got it. So we're going to Google again, just typing in hibiscus clip art. That's exactly what I want. I want to go to images and I want to go to realistic. All right, so these ones, as long as they've got a white background and you can't see the background, can you leave it alone, please? <laughs> I don't know if you can see in there. Does that make you feel a little bit anxious? Good mum, aren't I? All right, so the one that I found is this one here. All right, you can have a look at it. And I like when it comes up with these black and uh, gray and white um, squares in the background because it means that it's a transparent image and that you're not gonna see any background. So I'm just selecting that and dragging it down to my desktop and then from my desktop I can go and upload this from my file and you can see I've got it saved there um, so you just be selecting it opening it and it's going to come up I'll just cancel it because I've already got it here um, it's going to come up here okay I need to ooh, if you aren't make a mistake excuse me for a second let's just pause can I pause anything here? Pause. Okay, we're back. Let's try that again. All right, so I've been able to um, put it in here, but it's uh, currently in front of everything. So I want to arrange it behind. All right, I like the way that looks. If we're wanting to move everything over again, I could do that so we can fit it in a little bit more. How do you think? Should we do that? Yeah? Yeah, we totally should, shouldn't we? What do you want? 
Sticky tape? No, you don't get sticky tape right now. All right, so we've got these. Let's go quickly because we're losing it a little bit. Let me show you how to save these. Now, up the top here, you can see share, download, order prints. We want to go to download and we're going to do one at a time. The images that I, I don't want to do all pages because that'll come as a zip file. So we want to do individual images. This one here, hey buddy, you just got to let mommy have a couple of seconds is number three. Okay. So we're going to download that and it's going to be called, the, the file will be called anything, whatever it is that you, um, the first text that you wrote on there. The first text I wrote was calm baby. So you can go and change the title of it if you like to. All right. So that's there. We're going to go into a word document and insert now. So insert a picture from file and mine will be in downloads is my calm baby oh, calm baby and there it is let's insert the other image downloads what's that one gonna be what's it gonna be oh there it is i usually like them underneath because then i can just cut them at the same time Okay, so that's all you're doing. You're going there from to file and print and for me I'm printing it at um, You might have an option here for a scale for me I have to go into page setup and I have scaled it making sure my paper size is a4 Scaled it at 59% so that when I print it It's going to come out a size that will fit properly on my roller bottle. So let me show you what that looks like All right, so it's hard to see but we've just got um, a regular piece of computer paper that I've color printed and then we're going to cut each of those images out so that they are oh, so they cut out in the right size all right and what we're going to do next is actually attach it to some tape now with this tape it's actually I just mentioned the perfect size to fit on this way all right, if you're a bit worried about it overlapping, then just do it this way and cut it right close to either end. So let me show you that. Actually, let me just get out of the share so you can see what I'm doing now because you won't need that anymore. Finding the end on the sticky tape is so annoying. Here we go. So I'll have just want to make sure that I am sticking the um, design side to the sticky side and I'm going to cut that off. Sorry, better straighten that up a little bit. Okay, so I've got a little bit of an edge there so that it will be able to seal it in and just keep waterproof. All right, so it's as simple as that. I've got it the right way. And then I've just got my roller bottle and I always like having the writing facing up, <laughs> the writing facing up towards the, um, the lid. All right, so it's really just a matter of getting it straight and then sticking it down. Getting it straight is the main concern. That wasn't quite straight, but you can spend a bit more time doing that. So then you've got your different roller bottles that you have ready to be able to gift. Don't they look awesome? All right. So there you have it. I hope that's helpful. Thanks for bearing with me with um, dogs and babies and messy houses in the background. But that's the nature of the beast, isn't it? All right. I hope you enjoy getting your DIY on. Please post any pictures of um, things that you make, the designs you come up with. Maybe we can share some as well. That would be awesome. All right. It's time for me to go and do the school pickup. And the dog is saying that somebody has arrived as well. So I will chat with you soon. Bye.